one caveat with today's video is that this is recorded in 4.26, 4.27. Um, I've just tried to get this to work in early access Unreal Engine 5 and it wasn't working as expected. So I think um, that's a fix basically at the moment. I wanted to share a quick tip about fixing some of the settings should you make any adjustments whilst in simulate mode. I found myself in that position before and just thought, oh, damn, I'm in simulate. Let me show you what I mean. So, for example, here, if I just press play on this, we're in simulate mode. You know, if I select something and try and move it, say here, if I move it up to there, and then press stop, Coming back to our viewport, the mesh has gone back to that position. Okay. If I want to actually save it where it is, so here, movable, up there, and then I think, oh no, hang on, just press the K key. The K key saved the state or any changed states, and then it remains in that position. Now, this is also useful if you're simulating certain uh, functionality and you then think, oh, actually, I might just want to tweak a few things. So, for example, if you go to your post process volume, now I think it's this one, and you think, well, actually, while I'm here, I'm going to change the exposure settings of the post-process volume in the world. Bear in mind, it's the volume in the world. As this won't be possible if you have a post-process component in an actor, like here, PP Mono. So if I look at my post-process mono here, now, see, it's not letting me change it here because it's within an actor. But my post-process volume that is just in the world, I can make adjustments to. And if I press K again, it now says the two properties in the post-process have been saved. And if I press stop, it won't revert to the previous setting. So it's now kept those two changes in the post-process as well. So it's a way of kind of forcing the settings and saving them. Um, but as you would have noted, and this is useful to know, sometimes I set up a post process as a component of an actor for ease of referencing, but because it was within a, an actor, I couldn't make any adjustments in simulate mode. So it's only volumes that are within the viewport of the world as opposed to a component within an actor. So hopefully that's of use to somebody. So I hope that video is of use. If so, please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive any updates. And thank you for your support.